Hi Taurus and welcome to your April mid-month love tarot reading. I'm sorry these are a little bit late. I recorded half of them and I just wasn't feeling it so I took a couple days off and now here we are. So, so far so good. All decks I'm using are listed in the description box below and this reading is for singles, couples, and those who are dating. So Taurus, let's see what the overall energy is for you guys in regards to love and romance for these last two weeks of April. Oh, look at that. Romance. <laughs> Lavish the one you love with your personal attention and affection. So this, I feel... It's kind of different energy for each of you, actually. Um, some of you, this next two weeks is going to be filled with romance, all right? Um, I would, I really feel like this is already kind of going on, okay? You could have recently met somebody, or maybe you and your partner are just getting along very well, but it's, you know, very romantic. Also, uh, for you guys, we are about to go into Taurus because today is the 18th of April. So, you know, maybe this is those of you who have somebody special in your life. They're really going to lavish you and romance you and it's going to be a lot of fun. Okay. For others of you, this might just be the energy that's more on your mind. You know, especially if you are single, single, you're really contemplating romance and what you want and you know noticing that it's lacking in your life and remember you know Saturn has gone retrograde so this is a review of everything you've been working on and if romance is a part of that you are really going to be in contemplation and review mode about it so let's pull a couple more cards to see what the highlights are for you guys this next two weeks. That is like half the deck, so that is way, way, way too many. So maybe that's what we need to do right there. Honestly, it's hard because I usually shuffle this way, but then you guys see that, so I'm like trying to, I don't know, you would think it's not different, but it is different to my hands, I'm telling you now, even if I close my eyes. Okay, so we have let go of control issues, allow the situation to naturally unfold in regards to romance and retreat. It is time to disconnect from the world. Yeah, some of you guys are really wrapped up in somebody um, or, you know, and this is the universe saying, like, just enjoy and savor every moment. Don't push anything to move quicker than it needs to or than it is supposed to, Taurus. Just allow it to flow. And some of you, you might be... Um, planning a vacation or going on a vacation these last two weeks and it looks really nice honestly others of you that's just you know more of this energy where you are so wrapped up in each other let's see obedience that's interesting you know uh actually with let go of control issues i think some of you that's going to be you know very hard keeping yourself in line, right? Um, so let's see how this energy unfolds for you guys over the last two weeks of April. So we have the moon. <clears throat> we have movement. And we have choices. Wow, a Taurus. So, <laughs> look at what the very next card is. I'm just going to put that right here. I feel like 
that belongs there. So, Taurus, this is saying whatever you feel is going on under the surface or not being said, you know, you are right. There's more than meets the eye, okay? And you're you're feeling that. But there's some movement. The energy shifts. There's a change for you guys. And then all of a sudden now we have some choices here. So because this is general, um, if you are super single, this right here, my friends, with movement and choices, romance, this could signal there's, you know, an opportunity of romance presenting itself to you guys, those of you who are super single. Now, just because I say that, you know, it might not be a romantic opportunity that you are super interested in because, you know, I've done readings and I'm like, yeah, you know, it looks like you're going to have a couple of offers here. And then the person's like, well, that didn't even happen. And I'm like, well, what do you mean? You had like a couple of offers. Well, it wasn't from anybody that I wanted. And I'm like, um, okay, the tarot is just telling you what's coming your way. And, you know, because of what's come out so far, I mean, we're going to draw some tarot cards to clarify. Some of you, you know, it may or may not be something you're interested in, okay? I would say more so, yes, you are. And, but again, this is general. So those of you who are super single, there may be some movement in that energy. And now we have a couple of choices. And starting off with the moon, I would say, it's like you might know kind of who it is or who's feeling you. And then, you know, you're right. I, I believe that you are right because we have the full moon here. And um, I do not know off the top of my head when the full moon is in May. But this here is looking like a new moon. So this could be your Taurus new moon. So by your Taurus new moon. There's some new choices when it comes to romance for those super singles out there. Um, if you're just dating around, I feel like, you know, there's a lot more activity coming on the scene these last two weeks of April for you guys. It's just like romantic energy um, for Taurus. Now, since this is general, you know, maybe... If there is like nothing coming in, what this is about is, you know, the universe is saying you need to have some movement in your perception and your ideas about romance for yourself, okay? Um, with let go of control issues, really, it's like some of you, it might be your own energy kind of keeping you at bay from this, just you know, if you've been burned or it's just been a really long time since you've had anybody, you know, it's easy to kind of feel more pessimistic and negative about those energies and just your circumstances. But the universe is saying, listen, take this time. You know, Saturn has gone retrograde, which is an excellent time for deep review. You will have insights about so much that you typically do not, okay? And with movement, it's like if you allow yourself to go deeper and get out of that intellect and your emotion about romance, go into the soul space, you're going to have movement in your energy and there comes now choices where you understand and like you see your own energy, your own hand in your singlehood. Others of you might recognize that, you know, your singlehood has been about a lot of soul growth and it's not about punishment or that you don't deserve love. Okay, so I just feel and I'm seeing this through all these. There's a lot of clarity coming in for each sign um, about romance in their life. And for Taurus, you know, this just looks like if you if you felt like something's being hidden or there's something not being said or something under the surface, like I, your intuition is correct. And there's movement in that energy, which puts you in this place of choice but you know so far I'm not seeing like this as a negative energy so let's pull some tarot to get some clarification
And you know, some of you who are dating, like casually, there might be somebody who's really trying to take things to the next level. And again, you're already kind of feeling that and they want to move it to the next level and that puts the choice in your hand. But because we have let go of control issues, some of you, this is where like you are really feeling like this is the one and you want things to move to the next level or move quicker and you're putting the choice out there to this person. Hey, are we getting committed? Hey, you know, are we going to move in together? It will be different for all of you, but um, there's movement of energy in regards to love and romance for Taurus. Okay. So this card came out and uh, hold on, I gotta put the other deck down. Okay. So this card actually flew out and in the vice versa, and this is with the moon. Some of you um I think are maybe fearing some things. Um you're fearing things aren't gonna work out, you're fearing that who you're interested in, you know, isn't liking you back the same like um some of you are anticipating like you know sadness or heartache for some reason um but with this even in the description it says regardless of what's going on it's by no means the end and you know i see the, a bridge here so if you are feeling really scattered really confused and, and you just feel like there's more going on than you see, you know, just pull out of those emotions, um, get out of, you know, having nervous and busy thoughts in your mind. And believe me, it will come to you through your intuition. And um, I don't know, if you're in a, a partnership, if you and your mate just haven't been getting along and, you know, you're kind of I think you're kind of fearing like they don't really want to be with you or like, um, you know, let's just pull more cards. So here we have this emperor in this position for movement. And then we have the queen of cups here. So we have uh, Aries or water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces with that. And... This to me is definitely like a couple. I feel, Taurus, some of you, whether you're male or female, you're really worried about your relationship for some reason um, these last two weeks. And if that's not resonating with you, don't freak out and think, oh my God, what's going on? Because that's not a message for you, okay? But there's some Tauruses um, that are just... Maybe it's you're coming into the realization that you and your um, partner aren't as compatible as you once believed. I just feel when it says let go of control issues, Taurus, this is not the time to act or decide or make any decision about the relationship unless it's like bam out in your face and you know 100% for sure your partner's unhappy or there's been cheating or maybe it's that you're unhappy and you're contemplating you know um, whether you should be in this or not. I think um, you should really just ride these energies out for the next two weeks um, and you know let go of control issues, surrender, and there will be movement in the energy. And with choices here, I feel like, you know, you're not high and dry. And also interesting with this queen is, you know, she's been through a lot, but when she's in this position, she has come to the realization that she could be just fine on her own, that she really doesn't need anybody, that she is strong and independent. 
And because we have choices here, that's why I'm saying I feel some of you who are in a serious relationship might be in that contemplation mode. Like there's just something under the surface and it's like your own intuition, you know, nagging at you, pointing out, you know, the differences um, between you and your partner. And you just kind of like, you know, would I be better off alone? And again, Saturn has gone retrograde. So just allow these energies to play out and let the universe reveal to you what you need to know. But that can only happen if you let go of con the control and just let everything play out. So let's pull some advice. Um, if you're like single, single, now that, you know, all of this is out, I feel like many of you are just in this, you know, contemplation mode. And because we have the moon here, this is representing some heartache and some hurt that either you're not aware of or you're refusing to accept and acknowledge exists within you. And this is the universe saying, listen, this is a great time to allow that emotion to surface so you can have movement in this energy and that opens you up to new opportunities and choices but with obedience here and let go of control issues some of you Taurus I just feel like uh, if you're used to wearing the pants being in control being in charge you've got to kind of take a back seat to your own energy and let the universe like I don't feel like you're backing down or anything to another person. I feel like this is really you relinquishing that grip, whatever it is, so that the universe can come in and help with this because that's what's meant for these next two weeks. <laughs> All right, so there's several cards that flew out. We have Will and Intent. Yes, the universe hears you, but again, you know, it's time to surrender. And then we have the shadow, which again, um, for some of you, this is suppressed emotions that you need to allow to surface and you need to allow to pass through you. It's time to heal this wound, okay? Um, for others of you that are in a relationship, this could just be, you know, all the shadow aspects of that relationship surfacing. And that's why you're like, whoa, is this the right thing for me? But we're in Saturn retro. So let the energy play out. Okay. Look at this because we, the next card is integrate. So you're just going to come into some awareness, Taurus, by surrendering to the universe, really just saying, okay, universe, I will not dwell i will not obsess i will not cut, try to control show me your magic over these next two weeks you show me i will bow to you you show me and the universe will okay because look at this path to journey go steady you are going to really come into some profound insights by the end of april if you allow the universe in and allow it to dazzle you and show you and heal you wherever that needs to happen um, in regards to love and romance. So Taurus, that is your mid-month April love reading. I am wishing you all the best. Take care.